comparison to an ant. Thanks to Duke Energy Grant and the work of Teresa Hubert, we are looking uh, at a program that's called Good to Go Green. It uh, involves towers, growing towers, if you will. The experience is going to be new to them. You know, a lot of our kids do not have gardens at home. Uh, if they do, it's not this type of garden. Today we are in um, our week one of the program here at Green Valley Elementary and we're teaching kids about food, where it comes from, what it does to your body, and they're putting together, utilizing science, technology, engineering, and math, putting together a vertical garden that they'll be able to grow food in the classroom. We do talk about science, uh, but not as much as we want to. So this program is going to bring it uh, into the classroom every Friday for our third graders, but not just bring it so they're going to talk about it, they're going to touch it, they're going to feel it. Eventually we're going to harvest plants, uh, and again they're going to measure and talk about the water usage. You know, we're always looking to do more here at Green Valley, and this is a great way to introduce that science piece that's so crucial for kids. After the first week class, the kids will get to eat what they've grown. They'll have a party, they'll have salad, and get to taste a bunch of foods that maybe they're not familiar with. I'm hoping that they will apply this outside the classroom and tell their family, hey, I tried this today and it was good. And then so that way their family will buy fresh instead of processed. And that's what our goal is. So we're trying to help kids understand um, what they're putting into them and helping them change their ways to the better. They'll come back after fall break, they'll continue to grow food, but that food will be, will be given to kids um, that are in the Blessings in the Backpack program. So we'll be able to grow year round and the kids will also learn about philanthropy. We really want kids to live, learn, give, and earn well here in Southern Indiana.